Next, you can see that we've shown a helical staircase going up to the orthodontist's office. This is here to help you remember that influenza virus has a helical shaped capsid. Now, if you look inside of the orthodontist's office, you can see that we've shown a fish tank with a nuclear sign on it. I guess these are genetically altered radioactive fish, so he has to warn his patients about them. In any case, this should help you remember that influenza replicates in the nucleus of the host cell. As he's working on one patient, he hears a knock on the entrance from a concerned mother. Let's zoom up so you can see this better. Notice that the mother is pounding on the door and saying, he needs in. This is because the child just got his tooth knocked out, as you can see by the white tooth that he's holding in his hand. The phrase he needs in sounds like hemagglutinin, which should help you remember that influenza virus produces glycoproteins present on the surface of the virus and that they facilitate viral entry into the host cell. To help you remember that this glycoprotein is associated with viral entry into the host cell, we've shown the mother knocking on the entrance to the orthodontist's office. Now notice that the woman yelling is grabbing this door knocker, which is shaped kind of like an antibody. This represents the fact that antibodies can be formed against hemagglutinin. And since hemagglutinin is needed to enter the host cell, antibodies against it would confer immunity. Therefore, this idea is here to help you remember that the immune system can produce antibodies against hemagglutinin, which can provide future immunity to similar strains of influenza. Now you can see that we've shown a patient just leaving the exit of the orthodontist's office. If we zoom up, you can see that she's holding a pack of new erasers in her hand. If your experiences with dentists were anything like mine, then you may have memories of leaving the dentist's office with a pencil, toothbrush, or some other little gift like a new pack of erasers. And this is exactly what happened with this girl. She just finished up with the orthodontist, and he gave her a pack of new erasers as she was leaving. Anyway, new eraser sounds like neuraminidase. This is an enzyme that influenza produces and is associated with the release of viral progeny from the host cell. Once the viruses exit the host cell, they go on to infect adjacent cells. So we've intentionally shown this scene occurring near the exit sign because it can be thought of as an enzyme that helps viral progeny exit the host cell. Neuraminidase is an antiviral drug target because if a drug can disrupt this process, then you can imagine that it would essentially contain the infection and limit its spread to adjacent cells. One of the most commonly used drugs is oseltamivir, but other drugs with similar names, such as zanamivir, may also be used. To help you remember oseltamivir, we've shown this guy attempting to sell the patient hot tamales. Tamale sounds like Tamiflu, which is the brand name for oseltamivir. So zanamivir and oseltamivir, or Tamiflu, can be used to treat influenza, and they work by disrupting neuraminidase. 